Here is how I easily turn this image from like this to like this inside of Photoshop. It's a quick color grading tutorial and I'm going to show you how I do it right now. I wanted that dark free color grading to this image. So the first thing I did, I came to my adjustment layer. I click on my selective color right here. And since I want to work on the skin, you know the skin consists of yellow and reds. So I just come to my reds and just take my reds towards this red side like this. Just to add a bit of contrast. And then um, I take my blacks of the red inside like this. And also I remove the yellows from the reds. Now the next thing I did, I come down to my yellows. I just move my yellows towards this red cyan side like this to add rest to the image. And I took the blacks inside like this to add contrast to the yellows in the image. So that was the first thing I did. Now the second thing I did, I came back to my adjustment layer. I click on black and white adjustment layer. I just realized it belonged I made color grading video in this channel. Now the next thing I did, I came back to my adjustment layer and I clicked on my black and white adjustment layer. And I just changed the blend mode from normal to multiply like this. And I just reduced the opacity because I feel it's looking too dark like this. So I just reduced the opacity to about 25. I think 25 works for me. And after that, I come back to my adjustment layer. And I just click on hue and saturation right here. And I just click on this master. Once I click on it, I come to my reds. Just click on my reds. And I just reduce the saturation of the reds a little bit like this. And I do the same thing for the yellows. I reduce the saturation of the yellows a little bit like this. So next thing I did, I come back to my adjustment layer again. I added a black and white adjustment layer. Another black and white adjustment layer. And I change the blend mode from normal to multiply. This time, I'm just going to leave it like this for now. And I come back to my adjustment layer again. Click on my curves adjustment layer and just click on this default right here and just change it to lighter RGB like this to add a little of brightness to the overall image. So after that, I come back to this my second black and white adjustment layer which I created earlier and I just reduce the opacity a little bit until I feel it's okay for me. So I feel 50 works for me. So I'm going to leave it at 50 and also I'm going to come back to my adjustment layer again. And I'm going to click on Levels Adjustment Layer and just add a little bit of shine to the image like this. And also add a little contrast to the image just a little bit like this. Now, let's see the before and after. Let me just show you what set a group. This is the before and this is the after. The before and the after. Now, if you feel it's too much, you can just come to your opacity and just reduce the opacity. I'm going to reduce the opacity to about 74 like this. So the before and after, but I don't want it to affect the hair too much. So I'm going to take a little bit of it away from the hair. So I'm going to add the layer mask to this group right here. I'm going to add the layer mask. And if you don't have a group already, let me just go back. If you don't have a group already, let's say you just made all the adjustments without a group. Let me just move it up of the group like this. Okay. So let's say you just made the adjustment and you have not put it inside any group. To add a group, just click on this first layer right here, which is the curve, or it can be any layer for you, but just click on the first layer right there and just hold shift and click on the last layer, which you started with. And just going to select all of them for me. Once all of them are selected, I'm going to press on Ctrl G or Command G if you're using the Mac and I've grouped all of them. So this is the before and this is the after. Since I want to remove it from the hair, I'm just going to create a new layer. So once I create a new layer, I'm going to pick my normal brush tool, take my flow to about 20%. With my black brush selected, right now the brush is on white, I'm going to change it to black by clicking on this place right here or by pressing on X on your keyboard to change between white and black. Since I want black right here, I'm going to press X and change it to black. And I'm just going to brush on the hair just to bring some effect back on the hair, those shiny effect on the hair. I'm just going to brush on the hair just to bring those effects back like that. Okay. And also, I'm going to take it away from the eyes. So I'm going to paint on the eyes a little bit just to remove, just that effect a little bit from the eyes like that. Okay. Now let me show you the before and after. So, this is the before and this is the after. The before and the after. If this is the kind of color grading you are going for on your image, this is how you can do it. And also, I have a video explaining how you can color grade using Lightroom, Capture One, Photoshop, and Camera Raw. 
If you want to watch that video, click on the link shown right here. I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay creative.